Honorable Minister, our support is merely to provide a platform for members of the Namibian communities to alert the authorities on potential abortions or people who kill our white love without authorization. While we view it as a humble contribution, we hope that the establishment of the SMS platform and the usage thereof will discourage potential poachers from engaging in these cowardly activities of poaching. Some rhinos in the Kunene region and the Tosha were dehorned to deter would-be poachers. Of course, as some of you may recall, this was very controversial because it was found to be very cruel when you are dehorning the animals. However, the operation was largely successful. But it was the foundation laid again by a conservationist working hand in hand with local traditional authorities to establish the community game card system, which produced the best results. Intelligence from communities led to series of arrests and prosecution. We have then learned that our best weapon is the community. As a result, research suggested that black rhino population have more than doubled in the northwestern Kunen region over the past 30 years. And much of this can be attributed to community-based natural resources management. Poaching and dealing in rain horns or elvery is seen by the state as serious just as dealing in diamonds. To ensure proper protection of our special protected species, in particular the rhinos, recently the following had happened. One, some staff members of the Ministry of Environment and Tourism have received expert training in tracking and law enforcement weapons handling and crime scene investigation. Two, a sophisticated monitoring program and database is put in place in partnership with NGOs such as the Save Rhino Trust. Number three, a national workshop to develop regional rhino security strategy was held and attended by, by many stakeholders. And four, some animals are immobilized and fitted with transmitters to alert should any animal be dormant or disappears for a few hours. 